Yeah, so I just got finished watching um, uh, the latest two and a half Voyages video, which I'm sure most of you uh, out there watching this video would also watch. Um, and uh, yesterday was uh, uh, BLK UNK on the on the show, who I'll admit, who's um, I haven't seen his videos before, but I will go back and watch them now because I thought he was a, a really interesting guest on there. But the conversation that he and Victor had um, uh, for you know most of the the second half of the show um, really got me thinking about YouTube and just uh, making videos in general. It made me think about what I want to do with um, my videos. You know, I'm, uh, I've only been making the, these videos regularly for about a month and a half or so, um, and uh, although, and I think I'm up to about I'm up to about sixty odd videos now. Um, I've been getting through them at uh, quite a rate. Um, and, uh, you know, well, I think I said before in, in a video that my original intention when, um, uh, making YouTube videos was, you know, I wanted to make videos that would help, uh, other, other people who want to come out to Japan and study. And that's true. And it's true. I do. I want to, uh, uh, you know, other people are thinking about coming out to Japan on exchange or, uh, just to go to a Japanese university or a language school or whatever. Um, you know, I want to make videos to so that people can just like get you know my own personal insights as to what it's like studying at a Japanese university and, and spending a year in the Japanese education system as an exchange student and uh, a student of the language. Um, but also, I found that since I started making these videos, um, I actually really enjoy just just sitting here and talking to the camera. I found that it's really helped me to sort out thoughts in my own head. Um, you know, I started uh, making um, the Grammar A Day videos, uh, as I mentioned in the first one, that was mainly to help me, uh, you know, I want to, you know, I want to help other people, um, the people who watch that, if they go away and study that grammar um, in more detail, or they learn something from the video itself, that's great, that's fantastic, and I, and I hope that some people do, I hope that some people are learning something from those videos. But the main reason I made those was to uh, just sort of I found that, that talking to the camera and explaining the grammar on camera, running through the example sentences, helped really sort of cement them in my mind um, much, much stronger than um, when I just write them down. And I'm finding I'm retaining that grammar um, a, lot, a lot more effectively having put them on video. And, uh, and it made me realize that I, I really enjoy just talking to the camera because it, um, it just gives me a way to, to put my thoughts into words and it really uh, helps me organize my thoughts and um, uh, clear up in my own mind what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to say, what uh, my opinions are on, on certain things. And um, I find it a really effective way of organizing my own thoughts and uh, and, and clearing my head, and uh, so and that was so that was another thing that I, I thought about doing on YouTube was just um, just making videos each day, just to, uh, you know talk about what I've done, um, where I'm going, what what my plans are, and uh, and just my general thoughts on things. And at first I thought you know why why do that? You know nobody's going to want to watch those videos, but then and you know I don't want to clutter up. You know, and the people who come here to, to either watch grammar videos or, you know, hear about the Japanese education system or whatever like that, you know, perhaps they wouldn't want to see that kind of thing. But then, you know, watching watching uh, BLK UNK and Victor's discussion about, you know, what you make the videos for and, and the fact that BLK UNK was saying himself, you know, his videos um, are very much seem to be just like videos of his daily life, which is what vlogs are. You know, that that is what vlogs are, video logs. It's... It's sort of the natural evolution from, from blogs, just talking, you know, basically it's supposed to be a diary. And I've, I've never kept, um, I've never kept a diary before. I've never kept a journal because um, I just, I never find the time to sit down and, and do that. But it's something I want to do because, you know, I want to be able to look back in, in 10 years time, whatever, and, and, and just uh, see where I was and, and what I was thinking, what I was doing and where I wanted to go. And so I think that's what I'm going to do with, with these videos. I want to I wanna be able to look back in, in however, whatever 
many years or months or whatever and just think you know that's where I was you know where where did I go from there you know was I talking complete shit or you know did I have a point and uh, yeah so you know I, I, I don't know where I'm going to be in in say two years time I'm I'm going back to the UK soon uh, I've got another year of my degree I've got a well I say a year this time next year I will have graduated um, and I don't know where to go you know I, I look around and the vast majority of people on my course studying Japanese at my university uh, end up teaching coming back to Japan and teaching English you know for them they getting back to Japan is priority number one and uh, teaching English is a means to an end um, I have no great problem with that as long as you do go and do a decent job of it as long as it, it isn't just a means to an end as long as you do put some effort into being a decent teacher then fine yeah if you want to get back to Japan and that's the way you want to do it then fine but personally you know I have I have no interest in that um, I've taught English while I'm out here and I've, I've quite enjoyed it um, but it's not something I, I, I want to do long term um, and you know I don't know where I'm what I'm going to do. Uh, I, I studied hard over this last year. I've studied really hard over this last year. Uh, my Japanese has come on leaps and bounds in comparison to what it was when I came out here. Um, and I want to I wanna be able to keep using Japanese every day. Uh, I want to work hard at it. But at the same time, I have other things I want to do. I, I, um, you know, I want to learn other languages. Uh, I'm learning a bit of Turkish at the moment. I've started learning Chinese taking Chinese lessons on two separate occasions but they've fallen through for various reasons and that's another thing I want to work on um, you know I don't know whether I want to stay in education I might want to go and do a master's uh, you know I might go and do a master's in another language I might go and do a master's in just another field entirely um, you know I might learn translation something like that and uh, you know one thing I don't ever want my life to be is boring or predictable and um, you know, and I think certainly by by putting my thoughts and things on video, um, it have well hopefully have the two pronged effect of uh, both giving me something to look back on and and see where I was and where I can get to, and um, also uh, just as like um, if I'm putting it out there, then it gives me sort of extra motivation to make sure that I do it. If I say on on YouTube to the world that you know I want to. I want to do something. I want to live my life in this way. I want to, you know, have experiences. I want to make sure that I don't waste any time. Um, then yeah, then there's a little bit more pressure on me. You know, I shouldn't need to put it on YouTube. Say, you know, that's how I want to live my life. Go out and do it, and that is my plan. But uh, yeah, and that that was, uh, you know, just why I was uh, talking about the the video yesterday because that seems to be a big um, message about what, what BLKUNK was saying. Um, the fact that he, uh, you know, he said he's only going to make 300 videos because if he can't make, um, if he can't get to where he wants to get to in 300 videos, uh, you know, then he's not going to make it. Which I, I don't, I don't agree with. I think that you know, if he doesn't make it in 300 videos, then that doesn't mean that he hasn't made it. He's still got to keep trying. But it's that idea that I like, the idea of um, uh, just working. Uh, you know, just you, you do what you want to do. You know. Um, there's always been my biggest mantra, my biggest philosophy is, you know, go and do what you want to do with your life. If it's what you enjoy and it's not hurting anyone else, go out there and do it. Um, and that's what I plan to do with my life. But, uh, you know, um, I'm still only, I'm 22. I, I don't graduate for another year. Um, who knows where I'll be? Uh, this could be a really pointless video to make because uh, there's a good chance this channel will not even exist in a year's time. Um, but uh, you know that's my plan. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna make videos. You know, most days because I, I just enjoy it. I really enjoy just sitting down and, and talking to the camera. It's not something I ever thought I would do. If you ever watch my very first video, I said in that you know it, I titled it sort of a nervous beginning, and it really was. I, you know, I, I don't know why I started talking to the camera. I think I was certainly just another one of those people that, that watched a lot of J vlogs. I did for years. And I just wanted to get involved in that without any real idea of why. And um, uh, but now, the more that I've done it, the more that I realise, yeah, I just I, I like I like talking to the camera. I like um, just getting my thoughts in order and uh, out there that I can, I can. And it helps me sort of understand my own thoughts better and uh, what I want to do. And um, you know, there are, and there are 
and uh, yeah, like I said at first, didn't want to just do do this and just talk to the camera about whatever happened in my day to day life because you know people might not want to watch that. But then I'm just thinking, if people don't want to watch it, people don't want to watch it. If my subscribers, if some people have subscribed to me um, uh, to watch the grammar videos, then they don't have to watch these videos. They can just you know my grammar videos are, are titled grammar a day. You can you can click on those and. Uh, uh, you, you know which ones are going to be the grammar videos, which ones aren't. You can watch those and not watch these ones. If people want to watch me for me talking about, you know, studying Japanese and my experiences there, then great. Then they can do that. Um, again, those are usually labeled in a playlist. Easy enough. And if you don't want to watch daily videos, then, you know, you don't have to watch it. So, you know, that's, that's what I'm thinking now. Um, uh, I've, I've been watching uh, Miaf, Miaf, Miafi. I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, her YouTube name, um, but uh, uh, another J vlogger that's um, that she makes uh, M E A P H E, and you know she makes a, a vlog every day just about what she's doing. She's she's teaching English in Japan, and, um, and you know uh, I, I I enjoy those vlogs. I, I don't I don't know her. I you know in all honesty, her life has no impact. It has no impact on my life. What she's saying in those videos. I, I'm not. I'm not learning anything particularly new about Japan. Of course, you know, occasionally, you know, things that she says, and um, I think, yeah, okay, that, I didn't really know that or whatever. But it's generally just about her life, and it doesn't have that much of an impact on my own life. But it's it just it can just be interesting to watch. It can be interesting to know what what's going on in other people's lives, and you know how other people are enjoying, uh, you know, their life in Japan or wherever. And you know, I don't watch every single one of her videos. There's some videos that I'll watch half of, and then just. I'll stop watching because I, they're not particularly interesting to me. But uh, a lot of the time, I just sit down and I'll watch five, ten minutes, and uh, and really enjoy just hearing, you know, what what she got up to that day. And she can have she has some really interesting stories to tell sometimes. And so you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna start putting out videos a bit like that. And uh, people who want to watch, they can watch. People who don't want to watch, then I have to watch. You know, I'm sure a lot of people will have uh, the click on this video probably won't watch right through till now because I've hit twelve minutes and I've rambled a lot. Um, but yeah, and so this video really didn't have that much of a point. Uh, so my point will be, you know, do what you want to do. Don't listen to anyone else. Um, enjoy your life the way that you want to enjoy your life. And uh, if you want to watch my videos, keep watching my videos. If you don't want to watch my videos, don't. That's fine. I'm going to be back in, in England in a few weeks and uh, I'll be making a lot of videos uh, about my last year. In, in education, my last year studying Japanese, my last year studying uh, Japan, well, as far as I know, unless I go on and decide to do more. And, uh, you know, some people won't be interested in that. Some people will want to watch just for uh, just for Japan videos and I won't be in Japan. So, you know, that's fair enough. People don't want to watch that. They don't want to watch that. Um, but yeah, but I'm going to I'm gonna keep making videos. I'm sure I'll be making a lot of videos and uh, yeah, and just and for those of you who, who've thought about making videos and, and haven't, you know, I'd, I'd just say give it a try. Somebody, you know, everyone should give it a try because, you know, even if you don't have a, a, a point behind it, um, you know, you don't have to do it to make for people to watch. I think it'd just be a really good way to just to, to organize your own thoughts and to, it, it's just a, it's a new experience and it's a new challenge. And um, I've certainly enjoyed the challenge of, uh, of getting used to talking on camera. It's, it's, a, it's a good skill to have, I suppose. It really helps you. It teaches you to uh, be concise, which is ironic considering, uh, yeah, you know, I am now almost 14 minutes into this video and I'm going to wrap up now um, because that's ridiculous. It's almost 15 minutes. Uh, but yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. You know, YouTube, it's good. I enjoy it. Um, and I'm going to keep uh, making videos and you guys may or may not watch them. So uh, catch you in the next video, guys. Take care.